so hey all you gather viewers we are now about to go to the gather spot the gathering house of gather whatever you want to call it we ain't got no name yet but we have to come to the gather go to the gather house and decorate because all of our stuff that we've ordered is finally here and it's arrived so we are excited to just go and put it together and see what we can do and you know, we've been, it's a long time coming and we've been waiting. And today is, you know, Saturday, so we have class tomorrow. So we really want the students to be like, ooh. So it should be fun. And I will be sure to record it. And, of course, roll out with the road dog. Say hey, road dog. Oh, hey, road dog. I mean, not say hey, bro. <laughs> All right, see y'all hi you guys my hands are super dirty um i'm at our gather space right now and i'm going to show you guys all of the packaging and stuff like that that we finally got glory be to god we definitely have been um searching high and low for stuff and we're finally getting everything together so during this quarantine process of this uh i don't even know how to say it the virus we're gonna say the virus 19 um we have been just in the process of utilizing this time to just get gather ministries together and just be in prayer and just come together and get our space together so let me stop talking um i know i look crazy but anyways um let me stop talking i'm just gonna get a video of all the boxes stuff like that we're gonna do before and after and you guys just be in the midst of what's going on so see you soon so like i said this is like the door area this is just some little knickknacks that we have, our lamps. And then here are all of the boxes. Basically, the space needs to be turned inside out. The tape that you guys see on the ground is just where everything is going to be placed for the most part. Our windows is really nice. Um, here's just a view that is outside of the Detroit area. It's not that much to see. It's more so like a factory. Um, I mean, not a factory, but yeah, a factory area. But um, like I said, this is how we're going to transition everything and get everything together. And there is Donovan. Wave, Donovan. Um, we're just trying to get everything together. But stay tuned for more. The All of Us are going to come back together to put all of this together. See you soon. So I made it to Sam's Club to get some um, some stuff for the um, ministry, but as you can see, it's like crowded. So more than likely, I'm gonna have to find a parking spot and try not to deal with these crazies. Um, all of the snacks that I'm getting is for gather for our Monday meetings and just to grab a few things for today um as well since we're gonna be there all day just um getting things together but um yeah crazy right i don't know so i made it inside um headed to see what diamond if you can see if well what diamond is up to and see if anybody made it Yay, they're in here. Say hi to the cam, you guys. Getting started, lots to do, but we're here and we're about to get started. So um, stay tuned for more and we'll go from there.
get it to the gather spot to go decorate. Can't wait. See y'all there. Oh, dang, that was a good little session, too. Oh, okay. So, Would you rather? Okay, so. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, I'm paranoid. You know, you're not paranoid. So, why are you so paranoid? I don't know. That's just how I'm made, like, introverts and extroverts. No, that's not the same thing. You can't no, put no, yourself no, in a no, category. No, like, introverts are made, introverts and extroverts are made, extroverts are made paranoid. No, that's not how that go. Or maybe it does. Or maybe it doesn't. What you think gonna happen? I don't know. That's the whole point. I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. So you you paranoid about the unknown? No, I'm not paranoid about the unknown. Oh. Technically, but not technically. Technically, okay, explain. Well, I'm not there. Therefore I don't know what's happening. Therefore, that scares me a little. And that's the unknown. Like you said you don't know what's happening. That's technically not the unknown, though. What is it? I know it's like the deep, dark oceans. <laughs> oh, so it's categories of the unknown. Well, no, it's just like the unknown, like the unknown. The unknown is stuff you don't know. No. Yes, it is. No. <laughs> That's the definition of no. the unknown. Means not known. No. You don't, you not know what you mean. No? no? no. <laughs> okay. So, mother. Mm -hmm. Basically, I made it like that. Like, an introvert is made an introvert, mm -hmm. and an extrovert is made an extrovert. How do you know? Is there like a quiz you could take? You just know because you know, like, you know yourself. Well, I'm both. So then, what's that? What's that? How is that possible? I, I'm both. Who no, I what? That's literally impossible. Go ahead, give me a quiz. I bet you I passed. All right. Uh, would you rather uh -huh. A be at home by yourself or B go bowling or something? Or C both. There is no C. I'm just saying you got to give that option. No, I can't. Why? Because that's not a thing. I can't like to be by myself and like to bowl. Which okay, so that's C. Which one would I you can't. rather? Which one would you rather? rather? Okay. No, it make me no difference. I would like to be sleep. I like to sleep. Does that count as being alone? Answer the dang question. See, I could. I pick C. There is no C. Yes, there you is made a C. The I made it. You made A and B. Why can't I make one? Because I'm giving you the coins that you asked for. <laughs> I'm an extroverted introvert. Oh, no. You're That's not. the thing. I am an extroverted Just introvert. Go extrovert. No, Why? No. I don't even like people. No. I don't care. Go. 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 I don't care. Okay. No. So you an introvert? Yes. You like people? No. You don't have friends? Introvert don't mean you don't like people. Oh, what does it mean? It means you rather not be with people. Oh. So you rather not be with me? No, because you're my mother. That's a separate category. Oh, that's a separate category? Yes. Alright. Just good to know. And I live with you. So there is literally no escape. Oh, okay. True. There is no escape. Alright.
Use your hands. already starting to see somebody else. That's just sad though. And that's why you gotta not tell nobody. And know who you marry no, it. Know who you marry because <laughs> like he, he you know he, he was in on killing her. Yeah. It might be like Hey y'all. Hey. Just a little check in. Miko using her I muscles. I heard my name and she already reported. Um, those are some nice looking shoes. Me and Jeremiah studied on their chair. Thank you. Jeremiah is just sitting there looking at mommy. Yeah, I wish, like you said, if they had damaged that table, then we'd be straight on this side of the space. Mm -hmm. These tables, I mean, these chairs, y'all, are pretty complicated. Yeah, really this is mine. But that's I'm struggling. Additional logistics, and somebody has to come here and just to come pick it up. They gotta take it back. They gotta. I know. Such an interesting. Donovan, how's your chair? He got one done. It's good. It worked. <laughs> <laughs> that was my only concern. It worked. I can just hold people up. Yep, and go down like it's supposed to go down, and go up like it's supposed to go up. <laughs> Putting up the gather sign. <laughs> Donovan is putting together an end table. Is that what you're putting together? I don't know what I'm putting. Okay, he doesn't know. It's complicated. But he That's put something together. <laughs> <laughs> so it's coming together, coming together. We'll be showing once we get everything all cleaned up. But we have the tables put together and the chairs. We still have another table that we have to get and another shipment of chairs. Um, and still more decorating things to do. But for now, this is where we are. And I'll kind of... This will be like the little lounge area. And this will be the teaching area. And where Donovan is will be our counseling area. And then we still have to section this area off a bit more for storage and things like that. So.
It's like on there. Yes, we rock. Command strips. Oh, yeah, that was their call. Yeah, yeah. Command strips. Hi, I'm Tiffany. Um, and this is Andriana. And she just came over because she's been having a lot of pain in her leg. She had an injury about a couple of years ago. Do you want to tell us a little bit about your injury? Mm -hmm. um, I slipped and fell um, at work and it was a very awkward fall. So I don't know exactly what took place with my knee. Um, however, over the years, I um, was still having a lot of um, inflammation and um, like a throbbing pain up and down the inner side of my knee and um, as well as back spasms um, and they would hurt really bad so I've been dealing with it to all go into a place back in the place in the name of Jesus I command all pain in the back to go now in the name of Jesus and then try to move your your knee your leg again area and see where we're at there mm -hmm. and be 100% honest if it's still like a four or five So you weren't able to bend like that before? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. So now she can bend her knee. Um, well, that's good. We're getting improvements. Yeah, I had to keep moving around to see mm -hmm. if I felt anything. And it's like every single time she prayed for me, I'm like, oh, I feel less and less pain. Yeah. Like, I, don't I actually feel felt something um, move uh, up to my upper back, like in this area. It's like <laughs> when you were touching me and praying, it's like something moved up. Ooh. <laughs> so I don't know. Like the pain moved up? Mm, it's, I don't know. I, it's not a pain. It's like, okay. Um, I don't even know how to describe it. It's not a pain. Um, mm. And your hips, do you feel it in your hips too? Well, I, I told you I felt something like shift outward. <laughs> like okay. in, my, Did you? Okay. In, my, in my hip area. I'm like, whoa, what's that? Okay. <laughs> so before you pray again for the healing, mm -hmm. let just point mm -hmm. um, and command any demonic spirits that may be attached to her or in her to go now in the name of Jesus Christ. If I hear anything, I'll tell you what to say. But if you hear something or not, it's not that I hear, it's like he gives me a thought and then I know okay. what to say. So if you get a thought that just instantly pop in your head, you can speak that out. But yeah, so um, you know the history, not the history, history of that doctor. So whatever you know, Start to call that stuff out. Okay. And then just pray against anything that could be attached to her. Okay. Just point? Yep. You can just point. Okay. In the name of Jesus, I command all and any spirits that are attached to Andriana to go now in the name of Jesus. Hi. I just want to pop on really quickly to give an explanation as to what's going on with Andriana's prayer right now for healing. So in the last clip you saw, it was with Tiffany praying and you heard Andriana say that she felt a pain jump. I think it was from like her leg knee area to her shoulder area. Um, and she kept trying to explain that it wasn't a pain, but she clearly felt something. You heard me being quiet because I'm the one with the camera. I instantly knew that that was a demonic spirit because normally when you're being prayed for for healing and you feel something moving or the pain shifts to a different area, or you feel something jumping around, it's a demonic entity. So you'll see that I'm telling Tiffany to start to pray to deal with demons, to cast out demons, to pray for them to detach from her because that's what's going on. Now, we weren't able to capture this part on footage, so I'm gonna explain it to you before I roll the footage going forward so you can watch the rest of what's going on. But I had put the camera down and started praying for Andriana's back and as I started praying the demonic spirits start causing it to tighten really tighten her back and so when I asked her I kept checking in what's going on what's going on she said that it was really tight in her back she kept making noises so the more I commanded for that spirit to leave it kept tightening and then it finally moved from her back down to her thigh leg area 
And instantly when it moved, she like said, Ugh, you know, like there's a pain. She was in pain. And she said, it's in my leg thigh area and it hurts. So Tiffany and I started praying for that, commanding the spirit to come out of her body. It got so bad in her leg thigh area that she actually kind of fell down to the ground. So we just laid her down and prayed with her in a, a position of her laying down. So we had to pray for the leg thigh area, commanding that spirit to go for a little bit. And then finally, she said, it shot down to my foot. My foot is tight. It's stiffening. It's in my foot. So we had to pray for her foot, commanding that spirit to completely come out of her body, not to continue to move to different areas, but to come out. Finally, after a little bit of prayer for her foot, she said all the pain, tightness, and stiffening was gone. So finally, it moved out. So that spirit worked in the beginning, just to give you the order, from her knee area, it jumped to her shoulder, then it jumped to her back, then it jumped to um, her leg, thigh area, then it shot down to her foot, and finally the spirit exited her body. So I wanted to give that explanation because I was not able to capture that on footage, but that's the process she went through to get this demonic spirit to actually detach and leave her body. So I will roll the rest of the footage. Pray against the demonic energies. All I command energy. all demonic energies to leave her right now in the name of Jesus. Any involvement in the occult, any unclean spirits that have been attached to her through the occult, leave now in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. I command you to go. Mm -hmm. I command any. Uh, attachment of demonic spirits that are plaguing her body, causing infirmities and ailments in the name of Jesus Christ for them to detach right now from her body, from her person in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to every spirit of infirmity to leave Adriana now in the name of Jesus Christ and even her son in the name of Jesus Christ. We command all body parts to be completely healed for every part of her body to function 100% the way God designed for this body to function in the name of Jesus Christ. Can you bend down and touch your toes at all? Let's see, I used to be able to. <laughs> Before your injury? Mm -hmm. Have you been able to do it in a while? Mm -mm. <laughs> I don't feel pain. You said you don't feel pain? Mm -hmm. So I haven't been able to do it in a while. You're pretty flexible, too. Wow. I don't. I was surprised I could even touch the ground. I believe that I am healed today. Like I, they prayed for me and um, prayed for me and I experienced some things that I never experienced before. Um, while they were praying for me, like I felt like a jump in certain areas of my body. And um, I was told that that was actually a demon that had attached to me. Um, so they prayed and prayed for me and continue to pray for me and I found myself laid out on the floor <laughs> on the floor and, but, didn't um, leave. Yeah. and just to go back and this is Miko speaking because I know you don't see me on the camera okay. but you were saying Adriana right and I'm saying that right Andriana. Andri I'm sorry on Andriana. Andriana. Andriana that when we were praying especially when Tiffany was praying for her she kept saying she felt something jumping from like her leg to her shoulder mm -hmm. and then from her shoulder to the other leg and then so what you were experiencing is something kind of moving around mm -hmm. wow. initially I knew in my head that usually when we pray for people when the pain or a sensation moves from different spots it's a demonic force just jumping and moving around in the body mm -hmm. um so the more we pray it just kept going down and down what to your mm -hmm. foot to my foot yeah and I then left yep yep yeah. so okay well 
All right. Well, thank you for thank sharing. You so, much. and you said that you were able to kind of bend down and do some things that you haven't do. Some things that I haven't done in a while. Like I'm, I'm, I'm usually very flexible, used to stretching <laughs> and things of that nature, and uh, I have been trying to, but I have not been able to bend down and touch my toes. And I was able to do that today. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not feeling any pain right now. Um, so I, I'm just hoping and praying that that remains, uh, so, so that I can get back to my life. Um, I'm a, I'm a girl that likes to wear heels and people don't even <laughs> yeah. know anymore because I haven't been able to wear them. People are like, yeah, you, I don't take you as that person. I'm like, okay, you're just waiting to, to God heal me. <laughs> <laughs>